Okay, hello and welcome to the Hollow what, Hollow Radar tutorial. First of all, we're going to be building the main parts of the thing. First of all, you just need three 2x2 two two metal plates. Move one away, so that's going to be your controller. Pick the second one up. Now go down to wired wheel. And you need to set it up with torque of 900 force limit 1 and friction 1.8 also the APC wheel leave no collide on then just place that in the center of the first place okay now we need to get weld out, easy weld out then click the center of the second place and the center of the wheel there we go and that's the main construction done okay now we're on part two wiring up the contract putting the wired components in first of all we need a wired ranger if you set that as a, about a thousand range default to zero off show beam and hit water on, ignore world off and output just the distance okay once you've done this all you need to do then is place it in the middle of one of the long sides okay now we need to place get a two way radio place one on the radar place the other on the controller plate then link them okay now we need to get out a gyroscope make sure it's on output 0 to 360 and place that in the center of the wheel plate also get out a speedometer with split x y and z on and place that halfway to one of the corners of the plate. That bit's important as it measures how fast the plate's turning round. Okay, we now need to put, get out a hollow grid. Place that there. Then a hollow emitter with whatever colour you want. Place it in the centre, then link it to the grid. Okay, now we need to get out a wired button whatever model you want, make sure it's toggled with 1 and naught. place that here as that's your on off button then you need a wired value, constant value with one value at 16, this is the lifetime for your emitter so just place that there now we need to go over to the expression gate and I've already got it loaded here but the expression has two inputs of distance and angle and outputs x, y and z x is just constant as that sticks the hologram in front of the emitter relevant distance is your distance and the amount that the hologram is scaled down at the moment it's a hundred times smaller admittedly that should be 10 ok y is the cosine of your angle times your relative distance and z is the sine of the angle times relative distance so you should be able to just use that and place that on the board okay okay we're gonna need a few gates on this one we're gonna need a logical and a less than gate let's change that and also a greater than gate and we're also going to need a constant value with two values this time one of five and one of minus five and if I put that ok I've set that as that and place that there
Okay, now to begin wiring things. First of all, input A for your radio should go to the output of the ranger. Input B goes along to your gyroscope's your output. Now to wire the AND, the A input should go to the radio's output A. The B input should go to your greater than gate and the C input should go to your less than gate. Now you should wire the B output of the less than to 5 and the B output of the greater than to minus 5. Now take both the A values to the speedo's output X. And finally, link your wheels go output input to the AND gate. OK, now to begin wiring the gate. First of all, go to your hollow emitter, take the display output and run that to the button, and also take the radio's A input and run that to the button. Now take the hollow emitter's lifetime input run that to your constant value of 16 and then take the X input to the output X Y input to the output Y and the Z input to the output Z now take your distance input and take that to the radio's A output and your angle output and put that to the radio's B out. Now fingers crossed all should work if you turn on your radar, and it will start spinning, and all you have to do is watch it build a pattern. If it starts fading too fast, simply change the lifetime value, and if it seems to spin too fast, change the constant values of 5 and minus 5.